going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. So I'm recording this at the end of the video. At least my timeline is all screwed up today. First of all, welcome to the video, guys. I already recorded the entire video. Tommy was number one in the world, and he fell to number two in the world during the time when I was recording his 12-win grand challenge attempt live. So at the end of that video, he messaged me and he's like, dude, I just fell to number two, want me to go live and try to play for number one. And I was like, you know what? Hell yeah, I want you to go live and play for number one. So before we get into the grand challenge, uh, I will go ahead and, oh, and you already found a match. No editing necessary. This is amazing. Guys, I'll say what I said at the beginning of the first video to you guys again because I will cut that intro out. Uh, I hope you guys are staying healthy and sane mentally right now, given everything going around, uh, going on, excuse me, in the world right now. It is crazy, and, and I'm thinking about you guys. Obviously, not each and every one of you individually, but you know my subscribers, and I hope you guys are hanging in there. Uh, I feel for you guys, and I hope my videos can provide a little bit of a daily distraction for you all. Uh, so anyway. Here we go, guys, against Crystal. I forgot who this is. I'm not sure if it's... I don't want to say who it is because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but, you know, let's just... Suffice it to say, it's going to be an amazing player. And they're playing Ice Bow. So, it's the version of Ice Bow that I hate more than anything, too. Like, this is the most frustrating deck in the world to me. It is the Ice Bow with Rocket and NATO and Tesla and just so many freaking weapons. I hate it. Anyway, Log comes down. We go ahead and Earthquake. The good news here is, as annoying as this matchup is, we do have Earthquake. The bad news is, is they have Ice Whiz, Log, Tornado, and Tesla. So it's going to be a, a pain in the ash to get these uh, pigs to the tower to reclaim our spot as number one in the world. Tommy, a, a, uh, a pro from Nicaragua, uh, and uh, he's, we had him on the channel several times before, but always such a treat watching his gameplay. We actually watched a, a Tommy lose in uh, yesterday's video covering Lava Hound. Uh, Lava Hound uh, deck that was number one in the world a few days prior to today. So here we go. Tesla plays by the opponent. Ice was coming down. We have a knight in the back. We go with the Magic Archer, chipping away at this Tesla. Gonna keep that Mini P.E.K.K.A. alive to engage against uh, the Skeletons at least, right? And can we get the Magic Archer on the tower? We can. One hit, we'll take it. Let's see, we're gonna go with a Royal Delivery. That's right, this is a Royal Delivery deck. And let me tell you guys, stay tuned. You are not gonna wanna miss the Grand Challenge portion of this video because so much incredible value from the Royal Delivery. Seriously, whatever you're expecting, it was more. It was really impressive the way Tommy uses this new card. So a NATO rocket comes down. Nice job there by the opponent. See that rocket, see that NATO, and now we're gonna go ahead and attack. No NATO in cycle, so we can Earthquake, uh, knowing that all he has is Tesla. So we're able to get way more damage than he got on our tower, at least in total. 15, 68 remaining. Now we go with the Magic Archer again, inviting him to try it again. Why not, right? Maybe this time he goes with the, uh, the Expo. Skeleton's down. Royal Hog's down. We go ahead and use that Earthquake again. You know, at this point, it's beautiful, right? Because all Tommy really has to do here is just keep applying pressure with the Royal Hogs, keep being aggressive with these Magic Archers, and just keep cycling to more Earthquakes. Because we can cycle to way more Earthquakes than the opponent can uh, to Teslas and, and Expos. So here we go again. Royal Hogs coming down. We have the, uh, the Earthquake in hand. We don't, we do use it. Any value we can get out of the Earthquake is gonna be a really, really precious. Every time the opponent does those those offensive tornadoes with the rockets, sure, it, it looks nice and flashy, and it's really what they have to do, because, you know, they're, they're kind of desperate in this matchup, right? <laughs> but at the same time, it gives us an awesome opportunity to go ahead and just put tons of pressure in with the hogs. Now we're gonna go ahead and just finish this out with earthquake cycles. Just gonna take a couple earthquakes. Uh, doesn't even matter if we hit the king tower. This one's gonna be a, uh, a re relatively easy matchup for Tommy to reclaim his spot on top. Crystal, the opponent, just thro throws in the towel, and hey, we're back to being number one in the world, guys. You will not wanna miss this grand challenge. 
Stay tuned. Actually, let me just make sure that he is still number one. Now we're back to number one in the world. All right, guys, stay tuned. Uh, tons of great content coming in store for you guys. So this is the deck that he is using to push to number one in the world this season. It's kind of like a royal, a royal uh, a hog cycle deck, a royal heikel, huh? a royal hog cycle deck that I can't wait to share with you guys. Now the problem is. Is because he's number one in the world, he's not going to play live for us. He doesn't have any replays because he was actually doing a pro event earlier today, playing in a in a kind of a scrim league practice. So I asked him, dude, can we just finish off a grand challenge live or try to playing this deck that you prefer on ladder? And he said, absolutely. So Tommy is joining me. We are live right now. We are inside the battle. Let's go ahead and do some play by play. Sorry if it's a little. Uh, the lighting isn't, isn't, isn't what it used to be here in today's video, but anyway, here we go. Hunter in the face of that magic archer in the left lane, and so far, well, I guess so good. Neither him or the opponent have really done any significant damage to either uh, each other's towers. Romantico is the opponent here. So you guys can see the deck. It's a, I mean, Mini Pekka is the star of the show here on defense. And here we go applying pressure. And this is something that you'll see Tommy do in this deck. Just getting good counters to the Royal Hogs out of hand with the Mini Pekka. And the opponent gives them the well play because they know that's exactly what just happened. Now the problem with this opponent here is they have Bomb Tower and Valkyrie as a response for our uh, Royal Hogs. So let's see how we can get around this if we even can. This seems like basically the most difficult matchup that you could envision for a deck like this. We'll see what Tommy is able to do. Hey, we scored a King Tower activation on our own tower there. I, I kid, but you see that Magic Archer pulled that 160? So here comes the Earthquake. We do have the Earthquake for the Bomb Tower, but the opponent doing a good job making sure they were able to cycle back to another Valkyrie there. Now we have the opponent without the Valkyrie and the Bomb Tower in, uh, in rotation. So can we apply some big pressure to them? By the way, guys, you see my uh, Elite Barbarian uh, challenge in the uh, in the challenge screen? Go ahead, if you have your devices with you, go ahead and go to the last screen there, and you guys will see, nice royal delivery there, by the way. You guys will see my uh, Elite Barbarian uh, challenge coming soon, in a couple days at the time of this recording, uh, to a uh, to a game near you. So uh, be, tu be uh, tune in, excuse me, to the channel, to see I'll have a very special guest hopefully in store for you guys playing that challenge the day that it goes live here on the channel. Can't wait for that. You know what? It's uh, Hopefully it will be fun. Anyway, let's see. Royal Delivery is going to come down. Royal Delivery, a card that I haven't mentioned until we actually get to the final, you know, uh, two minutes maybe with this deck is in this deck and it's a, it's a card that Tommy really really likes and hey he's gotten tons of use out of that royal delivery in this very match right I mean he's using it against those wall breakers it's going to kill the wall breakers every time granted it is a three for two trade but still getting a lot of value out of it and then the opponent has to kind of deal or respond to the royal recruit or the royal recruit can potentially get some extra value so again we go in with a predictive earthquake magic archer also helping out gonna get a bunch of those pigs to the tower and 1079 remaining magic archer on magic archer in the right lane 40 seconds into sudden death overtime only 15 14 13 seconds away from triple elixir time legendary would be proud so here we go well, that's just infinite elixir, right? That's not triple elixir. That's just infinite. So we go with the earthquake. There's a naked earthquake cycle there. And that's going to allow the magic archer to get two very valuable hits there on that right lane. So things are looking really good here. You can tell when the royal delivery is played by looking at the hand of Tommy. Magic archer on offense here from the opponent will respond with a mini P.E.K.K.A. Here it comes. Going to be the royal recruits down again with that earthquake. All we want is that earthquake cycle damage here. Doesn't even one little nibble, one little pig nibble on the right tower gonna have to defend here and we're able to again with the royal delivery coming down just in the nick of time 30 seconds left here in this match mini peck is gonna make it to the left tower taking it down to 484 here comes the earthquake down in the right royal hogs are gonna bypass that bomb tower and get to the tower and there it goes good game what a way to open up this video guys tommy was insane 
And I'll tell you what, I called that a very difficult matchup, but just getting so much value out of that Earthquake and then being able to catch the opponent without the Valkyrie in cycle, uh, just did a really good job kind of keeping a heads up, keeping track of his opponent's cards, uh, did Tommy there in that contest. Very, very well played. Let's go into the next one here. And again, this is the deck that he used to push up to number one in the world, not the other one on his profile. That was just from his scrim earlier today. I'll come back at you guys when we find our next match. All right, guys, here we go inside the next match here. We are 10 in one, going from win number 11. Tommy playing this deck that I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy. Uh, it just, you know, with that Earthquake in there too, and the, the Earthquake and Royal Delivery combo, certainly not a combo I thought I would be talking about in the beginning of the season, but you can see how effective it was both on defense, the Royal Delivery against those Wall Breakers, and on offense against those Bomb Towers. So here we go, it's gonna be Magic Archer in the back going the same lane as the, as the, what the heck is that? It's a witch sighting, and Tommy gives the what the heck is going on here as well. Magic Archer is going to be taken care of with that poison. We delay a little bit with the Royal Delivery, and the Royal Delivery comes down, splat right on that witch's face. So there we go. I mean, we're going to be able to really rely heavily again on that Royal Delivery against the witch, right? We're going to kill all the skeletons around her, and then we're going to have that Royal Recruit do some damage to actually the witch, because no skeletons will be protecting her. We go opposite lane here, nice opposite lane push, but a Valkyrie comes down. Not what Tommy really wanted to see there, but still, we're going to go ahead and just play that Ice Golem same lane, make sure we distract those archers for a bit, and also, more importantly, make sure that uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. is stymied there. We go with the hunter in the center he's going to go ahead and dispose of that valkyrie in the left so early on here the opponent it's going to be a giant deck right the last card must be giant because you don't see a valkyrie tanking for a uh, a witch you know uh man this lighting is kind of screwing me up i look at how dark my face is here guys jeez i'm ruining the video again royal delivery getting the job done that's a three for five trade again let me see if i can put some light on how's that there we go there, whoa, there we go. You know, maybe we should do this before these videos, but it is live. <laughs> okay, that does not look good now. I'm getting drowned out. Anyway, I apologize. I'll get it. I'll get it right for the next video, guys. Here, let me turn that off now because I'm like melting. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, Golem is. It's a Golem deck. Wow. I thought it was giant. It is a heavy, interesting giant deck. The fact that this dude is in an 11 game on a grand challenge with this deck. It, it says something. I don't know what it says, but I guess the deck is semi-viable. Okay, so we're probably just going to wait for that witch to cross over. We go with skeletons against the mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm worried. I'm officially worried here, guys. We go with Hunter in the center. Royal Delivery needs to come down now. And it does. Nice job on the... Wow, look at that defense, guys. That was sick, but a huge elixir advantage for the opponent here. So we can't even go in with the Royal Recruits. I don't think we will. Instead, oh, we do! Wow. Uh, did I say recruits? <laughs> you guys know what I meant. Royal Hog. We go with a full uh, 10 elixir, or 9 elixir push in the right, guys. Jeez. So we force a Valkyrie and a Baby D out of the opponent. We have the Mini P.E.K.K.A. down. We have the Royal Delivery in hand. We're going to need it now, now, now. And we get it. Oh, my God. The Royal Delivery is so clutch there, guys. Keeping our Mini P.E.K.K.A. alive, but I think we're still going to lose this one. Skeletons, Ice Golem come down. Okay, I stand correct. Yeah. No, the Witch. The Witch gets a few big hits. And 265 remaining. They have poison here, so we have to go all out in the right. And here it comes. Baby D is down. Earthquake is down on our end. We're going to get that mini P.E.K.K.A. to the... Ooh. I thought we might get that mini P.E.K.K.A. We need that Witch. We need that... Oh. Oh, my God. The Ice Golem comes down, but the poison does come down. Man. A very interesting deck that we went against there. And able to come, off cross, come away with a victory against Tommy. Very well played there. Now we're in a do-or-die situation with this deck. The number one player in the world has lost a 11-win attempt inside a Grand Challenge. Can he pick up the next one? Stay tuned and find out. All right, guys, here we go. For all the marbles here, we cannot afford to lose either of these matches. And here we go. Tommy in good spirits dancing with that Dark Goblin. The opponent, oh, starts with a Sparky. 
And I'm feeling the heat, so is Tommy. We went from dancing to not so happy about this Sparky matchup. We're gonna go opposite lane with the Royal Hog, see what the opponent has in store for us. And it's another kind of unfortunate uh, response in the opponent's deck, a Dark Prince. So it looks like they're playing a Goblin Giant uh, deck, and here it comes, Goblin Giant. Uh, we do have that nice Royal Delivery and Mini P.E.K.K.A. combo. So, hey, able to stop that Sparky, and it looks like we're able to stop this in the other lane too. Uh, can Mini P.E.K.K.A. get a hit off, please? Yes, we can. Dude, wow, that defense though. The Rage spell, wait a second here. They have Rage too? This is a dirty, dirty deck, ladies and gentlemen. This is a dirty, dirty deck. We're facing 1590 remaining on the right tower. So we have the damage advantage. And we're gonna go ahead and use the Royal Delivery again against the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Look at how effective the Royal Delivery has been from Tommy inside these matchups. So now the sad face from Tommy comes down. We have a three or four Elixir deficit here. Probably gonna see a Sparky in the back from the opponent. No, they're gonna leak it all away. Interesting decision by the opponent to leak that much elixir, but Tommy's gonna respond in kind. Both players wanting the other player to make the move. Tommy says, let's get this party started here, man. Dancing with the Dark Goblin, and the other guy is just like, okay. Uh, wanna wait until double elixir time so I can Sparky Rage you to death, dude. So here we go, it's gonna be a Hunter and Ice Golem in the left. That's six elixir, let's see what we do. We get, uh, Four licks are out of the hand of the opponent immediately. They're probably gonna have to play some more here. That was a nice kind of pressure play. They decide, do they drop the, they don't even drop, oh man. They don't even have enough elixir to drop the goblin giant. They decide to go opposite lane instead. Now we're gonna need, oh dude, the royal delivery comes through in the clutch again here. Just beautiful royal delivery taking care of those minions and now uh, the hunter's back in hand to respond to the goblin giant. Dude, my main takeaway from this video is, so far, is Royal Delivery is so key, man. Getting so much value out of it, and now we're gonna get some significant damage on the left tower. Oh, this tower might be down, guys. One more, two more hits. Okay, 161, so we're getting to Earthquake range. A well played comes down from the opponent. Let's see what we can do here. Remember, we can't use our, uh, obviously we can't use our Royal Delivery on offense. Can we stop this big rage push? We go in with the skeletons. A hunter goes down. Oh, an ice golem goes down. We have another mini P.E.K.K.A. on top of the Sparky. Oh my God, that was dangerous. That was scary, guys. Ooh, at the end there, having that Sparky and Dark Prince and mini P.E.K.K.A. and Goblin Giant all coming down the lane raged up. Dude, I was uh, I was a little nervous that video was gonna be over right there. Let's go on to the the twelfth match, guys. Can we pull off this twelve win? So we're still searching for a match here, guys. But I thought I would show it off because you know not every day that you get your uh, your ugly mug put inside the game. So here we go. CWA's Elite Barbarian Rush starts in three days, seven hours from the time of this recording. And check it out. You guys can get a legendary chest by winning it. All you have to do is elite barbarians spawn into the arena one at a time. They will spawn faster throughout the match. Three losses and you're out, but you still have a chance to reset your losses and continue to play. Support Clash with Ash by using creator code C at CWA. Thank you so much. Supercell, thank you so much. Hey, are we in this match yet? No, we're not. Okay, be right back. All right, guys, we have finally found it here, and it is, oh, it's Yuso14. Now, Juso or Yuso has been on the channel before, Finnish player, plays Sparky a lot, so let's see what he has in store for us. Could be another Sparky matchup, if it is, and there it is, right on cue! So we know how uh, Tommy is gonna be dealing with this, right? My man, I gotta give him the Inferno Tower emote, I gotta give it to him. Uh, great guy, he's been on the channel before too, and uh, we'll see, what is, we'll see. We, we always say to each other, or he always says to me on social media, that we need to have a Longero, a Finnish Longero together next time I am in Helsinki. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. We're gonna be using the same strategy, leaning heavily on the uh, the Royal Delivery in this match. Now it's a different version of the deck. This guy has uh, no rage, so shockingly. He does have uh, the, uh, we have Skeleton down on the Hunter, and he does have Dark Prince though. And he has Bar Barrel, 
and he has the snowball. Beautiful magic archer without hesitation at the bridge there. Able to get that tower all the way down to 1382 HP. So Tommy strikes first. Can we complete this 12 win, ladies and gentlemen? We will find out. A naked mini P.E.K.K.A. to get something out of Ijuso's hand. And we go with the hunter on the defensive end. We have Ice Golem in hand, no worries. We also have Royal Delivery. We go Ice Golem. Nice, easy defense here. Nice, easy does it. Easy does it, Tommy. So here we go, Skeletons in front. Getting that bar barrel out of hand for the opponent. We go in with the Royal Hogs. Now we have Hunter Snowball in hand for the opponent. There comes the Snowball. And we get a little nibble from the pig there, 1323. You guys hear the news? Magic Archer emotes coming uh, next season. Maybe along with a nerf to the Magic Archer? We will see. This time we play Mini P.E.K.K.A. in back of that hunter. And gonna force another kind of awkward Goblin Giant out of uh, Jusa. And he decides he can't like drop a Sparky here or anything like that. So it's a nice way to prevent uh, him from getting like big pushes against us, right? And we're going to go with that same combo. Third time now we've seen it with the uh, the Ice Golem tanking for the Dark Prince. We have Skeletons surrounding that Barbarian, trying to keep that Magic Archer alive as long as possible. We go with the, uh, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. here on the right. And what we're trying to do is prevent him from dropping a Goblin Giant in front of that Sparky so we can just Royal Delivery it. And that's exactly what happens here. We go with the 1-2 combo of the Hunter and the Ice Golem. Oh, Hunter dies! No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Royal Delivery is down. We're gonna take some damage here in the left though, some big damage, no? Ice Golem is down, We're gonna let that Hunter go. That was so unfortunate that our Hunter died, guys. Ooh, four, three, two seconds remaining. Can we get this? Can we do it? Dark Prince, well, plenty of responses in hand to these Royal Hogs. Dark Prince comes down at the bridge. We go Magic Archer Skeletons to pull him in. What is the last card by Jusa? That's the question. What spell is it? Ooh, we will see. Now we're gonna go opposite lane again. Here we go, left lane. 792 remaining on the on the right tower here, guys. Come on, Tommy, you got this, man. So Magic Archer does not connect. Forces a hunter out of uh out of the opponent. We had a magic archer in the right lane. 459, 677. Oh boy, we need to stop this push, and it's gonna be difficult, guys. It's gonna be very, very difficult. We go with the one-two punch. The Pekka. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe we stopped that. Can't believe we stopped that. Okay. I get so scared every time I see a big Sparky push. Can you guys tell? Here we go. Left lane. Earthquake. Earthquake. Earthquake is down. That's going to be it, guys. That is going to be it. Boom. Tower falls. Tommy pulls it off. Let's give Juso the uh, the Inferno Tower emote. Well played, man. Well played. And man, Tommy did it, guys. Picking off a 12-win GC, making for a great video, entertaining until the very last second there of that 12th match. Again, Tommy's still number one in the world, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, again, are hanging in there, trying to stay, like, mentally sane here uh, during this, uh, this, this weird time. Unlike any time that I've ever been alive in, and I am old, you know, I was born in 1982, and I've never been alive during a time as uncertain and just weird as we are right now. I'm sure Tommy would agree uh, watching live now, or not watching live, but with me live from Nicarag Nicaragua. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Before I just blab on for another 10 minutes, I will conclude the video here. Huge shout out to Tommy. Check out his player stats and info. Thanks to StatsRail.com. Check out his player stats as well. It's his Twitter information as well. And of course, a huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Thank you guys. And as always, take care guys.